Genesis 43, and we'll start in 21. And it came to pass when we came to the end that we opened our sacks, and behold, every man's money was in the mouth of his sack, our money in full weight. And we had brought it again to our hand. And other money we had brought down in our hands to buy food. We cannot tell who put our money in our hand, in our sack, excuse me. And I want to look at Joseph's servant, what he says. <clears throat> and he said, Joseph's servant, peace be unto you, Genesis 43, 23. Fear not. Peace be unto you, fear not. Those are the words of Jesus. Your God and the God of your father has given you treasure in your sacks. I had your money. And he brought out Simeon to them. Joseph has been doing some witnessing. Because that servant, and if that servant is an Ethiopian, Egyptian, shepherds were an abomination to, to the Egyptians. To eat and, and dine with shepherds were an abomination. And there was another, another abomination. The family of Joseph was an abomination. Now, granted, maybe the servant, you know, he studied like many Baptists do not today. But Joseph is the man that walked up to Pharaoh and said, does not interpretation belong to God? He walked up to two men in prison before he deciphered the dream. He said, this is, this is not me. This is God. Joseph was not afraid. What we would what we would say today in the church age, though Joseph didn't have it then, <clears throat> he wasn't ashamed of the gospel. Now he didn't have the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Joseph was not a Christian. What I'm saying is our Bible verse for what Joseph has. We're not to be ashamed of the gospel. We're to tell others. We're to speak loud. Joseph did, and Joseph didn't have Calvary. Joseph was a man put into prison innocently, falsely accused. And Joseph's servant, who could understand each other, it was the interpretation between the son, the brothers, and and Joseph. That, that was that was a coy. That was an act. <clears throat> that servant says, "Your God, okay, that's fine." Egyptians had all kinds of gods. Nebuchadnezzar, your God, that's fine. America and God we trust could be any God. The God of your fathers. All right, your God. I don't fall under the God of the Catholics. I don't listen to the God of the Pope. My God is not of the Mormons. Or the Jehovah Witnesses. Or the Yin Yang. Or Islam. But those are gods. And the Bible acknowledges those as gods. But the God of your fathers. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The fathers, grandfathers of, of Joseph. That's my God. Who is my God? My God is Jehovah, the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, not Ishmael. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and then Joseph. And that servant knew full well that God, and then the God of your fathers. And the remarkable man that Joseph was, his servant knew. So, outside of all the scandals that the devil put Joseph into, you know, my brothers were going to kill me in the pit. My brothers sold me. I got a great job in, in Egypt. And then the guy's wife lies about me. All right, I helped two men in prison. The man didn't bring my name up to Pharaoh, spend more time in jail. And then he gets put to the second office of Egypt. And he tells 
the servant about his God. And I'm looking up a verse here, and this came to mind. Um, let me search here. Hold on. I apologize. No, I'm. Um, All right, well, Paul, I try to find, I, I can't. I apologize. But Paul says, <clears throat> he's right to one, to one of the churches. He says, I think he's, is it Caesar's household? Maybe it's Caesar's church. How do you spell Caesar? I can't. I'm not going to go But Paul writes to one of the churches. I apologize for that. He says, of, of Pharaoh's or, or Caesar's household, greet you. Paul went up against kings and rulers of his day and spoke the name of Jesus. A man beaten in perils of his life. And he still witnessed Jesus. Now, he was a man that's not afraid of the gospel. And that, that is properly dispensation of that verse. I mean, he wrote it. Too many Christians are afraid of witnessing the Jesus to their family. That ought not to be so. The Bible says, out of the mouth of Jesus Christ, go in all the world and preach the gospel. In 2021, I see Christians preaching the Republicans didn't win. Donald Trump was cheated. The sports, the, the awards, COVID-19, anything and everything but. The gospel of Jesus Christ. In no way, form, and shape did I say that Joseph was a Christian. Joseph looked forward to Calvary. Now, I used the Bible verse uh, to, to apply our own life. But the servant of Joseph knew God. And then he heard about the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the fathers of, of Joseph. The same man that went up to Pharaoh. God shall give me the interpretation. To a nation that everything to deal with the shepherd. The, fir the first three abominations in the Bible is the Egyptians. Let me look at that real quick. Every Hebrew. You, uh, you may not eat bread with the Hebrews. That's an abomination to the Egyptians. Every shepherd is an abomination to, to the Egyptians. And the sacrifices of the Hebrews was an abomination to the Hebrew, uh, to the uh, Egyptians. Everything the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob was an abomination to the Egyptians. And yet that man in Egypt, the second ruler of Egypt, Knew about God and the God of his fathers. Are you ashamed of the gospel? Are you telling others 